Hello everyone, and welcome to The Breakdown with AP, an in-depth look at some of EuroLeague's best players. I'm Alec Peters, also known as AP. I'm a former second-round NBA draft pick, a EuroLeague champion in 2019 with Seska Moscow, and I'm a current member of the first-place team in EuroLeague Anadolu FS. I'm going to be giving you guys a special look at EuroLeague's top talent through detailed film breakdowns and highlights. So let's get started, let's watch, let's learn together, let's get to it. Welcome to The Breakdown. This episode, we are taking a look at one of the most prolific and efficient scorers in EuroLeague history, Nando De Colo. A member of the All-Decade team for 2019-2020, Nando's as good as it gets at scoring and creating at all three levels. Nando's long list of awards include two EuroLeague championships, a Euro Cup championship, a Final Four MVP, a season MVP, an Alfonso Ford top scorer trophy winner, and numerous first and second team All-EuroLeague selections, as well as a recent bronze medalist finish for the French national team at the 2019 World Championships. The list of accolades is 10 times as long, but you get the point. Nando's one of the greats not only because of the individual performances he has, but because it has led to team success year in and year out. We're going to take a look at an area of Nando's games that make him almost impossible to guard, and that's his creating and scoring in the paint and around the basket. We're going to see why he's one of the best guards at playing at his own pace and controlling his body to score in the paint. Let's get to it with the first clip. First clip, we got Nando taking the ball out of bounds, sideline out of bounds, four seconds left on the shot clock, short clock situation. We're going to let it play all the way through here one time. You're going to see a high quality move made by him, highly skilled, to an awesome paint finish with the floater. So let's start it from the beginning. Here we go. Ball inbounds to Vesely. Nando's going to get the handoff right here. Now we got three seconds left on the shot clock, so Nando's got to work quick. Now that little move he pulled right there is about as high as skilled as you can get. So let's start it from the beginning. And I'll try and get it right at the right moment so you can see why. Let's see right here. You see the defender freezes when Nando brings those two steps like he's going to shoot and pull up and shoot. But he's got the awareness knowing that he still has two seconds left on the shot clock to make his move, freeze the defender like he did on the perimeter guarding him right there to get into the paint. Awesome high floater up over the big man. So let's see it one more time. It happens quick, this move he makes out top, but this is a high quality, highly skilled move right there. Fakes the shot, great finish around the rim. A lot of good stuff in this next clip here from Nando, so let's run it all the way through one time. Nando's gonna start off the ball. He's gonna set this little back screen right here to free himself up to play the pick and roll, put the defender on his back, and he's in for his finish. So here we go from the beginning. Nando, like I said, starting off the ball. And if I pause it right here, this small back screen right here not only sets his teammate up for possibly an open shot, but it's going to free him up to now have a split second to receive the ball and play the pick and roll. And you'll see, if I pause it right here, his defender is putting a hand up to almost play the pass to his teammate that he tried to free up with the back screen. Gives Nando just a little space to receive the ball. He's going to play the pick and roll with Jan Vesely right here. Now, right here, he's doing what a lot of great guards would do in this situation is when they have the advantage, they're going to keep the advantage, meaning they're going to keep the defender behind them. So now they're playing two on one with the big man, him and Vesely, the role man. So he's either going to be stopped by the big man to where he's have to dish it off to Vesely, who's rolling, or he's going to have it right here where he gets all the way in for the easy layup. Let's watch it one more time. We'll watch it all the way through again. Again, a lot of good stuff in this clip. This small basket right here is a really good detail that he uses. Frees himself up. The best scores are sometimes the best screeners. Puts the defender on his back. Quick layup. Gets it quick up there on the glass. When we talk about being creative and having a finishing package around the rim, we're going to see why Nando's one of the best in this next clip right here. We're going to have some action right here. It's actually going to be a shooter's play for Datome, and I'll go back and pause it through it. We're going to end up here with Nando with the ball. Slip screen, hard drive right, right hand, right foot, quick finish. Let's start from the beginning. We're going to have Nando with the ball at the top of the key. Now, what I mean by shooters play for Datome, so you can see number 70 in the yellow jersey right here, is going to make his cut through the lane, and he's going to come back out off a of Costas Lucas screen right there to the left wing to look for the shot. 
Now he doesn't have it, so we're going to get it back to Nando right now. And Jan Vesely is going to do something right here that really helps if I back it up. He's going to come and slip this screen, giving Nando a right-hand advantage to the rim. Now look at this. He's using that left arm right now, and it's not a foul. He's using that left arm to create space to give himself enough space to use the right hand, right foot, quick finish up on the glass. And Shingelia right there doesn't have a chance at getting there to block it. Let's watch it one more time. Here we go, shooter's play. Not going to get anything out of it. Ball back here. Slip the screen. Hard downhill right hand drive. Right hand, right foot. Quick finish. Next clip with a lot of good things in this one too. And Nando's a great guy to learn from, not just watching his finishing as we're focusing on here in this breakdown, but watching his movements, watching his details and how he moves off the ball. And this is going to be a clip that shows why. Here we go. We're going to end up with Kosas Lucas coming for the handoff. Pick and roll. Nando's going to replace on that right side. He's going to run through the catch, get to a nice little left-hand floater. Now let's replay it all from the beginning. Like I said, it's going to end up with Kosas Lucas coming for the pick and roll here towards the top of the key, going to his left hand. Now what I mean roll and replace is right now the big man setting the screen, Vladimir Stimach, is going to roll to the rim, and Nando is going to replace on that right side along the three-point line. Now this is great right here. He runs through this catch. You see the defender for Real Madrid has all his momentum going one way while Nando is running through the catch and getting his momentum going downhill towards the rim. Gets in there. Nice left-handed finish up in the air. So let's replay one more time all the way through. Roll and replace. We're going to have the big man roll to the basket and Nando's going to replace towards the top. So we got to roll, replace, run through the catch. Nando's really good at finishing with both hands around the basket, as you saw right there with his little left-handed floater. You guys know I always like to use a clip as a teaching point, something to learn from. And here what we're going to learn from or what I'm going to try to explain is that Nando is one of the best, I'm talking the best in EuroLeague, at getting fouled. Now normally, this is a very new school thing to teach. This is a very recent thing that people are starting to teach, and that's the art of getting fouled. So right here he creates the contact with the big man and gets fouled. So let's pause it real quick. So... To tell you guys statistically, Nando is 94% from his career, from his career in EuroLeague, from the, free, from the free throw line. Now that's on over 800 attempts. Now that's just ridiculous to think about the amount of free throws that he's taken and being able to shoot 94% over his career. And he's taking advantage of that right here. He gets to his right hand off the pick and roll. And right here, the defender for Berlin right now, the big man, has got his right arm down where it's near Nando's left arm, his off arm, as he's going towards the basket. Now, knowing this referee on the baseline right there, Nando's going to use that contact to sell like he's being fouled. He's got the arms down. He's going to get the call every single time because the defender's arms are down. He's going to create that contact to receive the foul. We're going to see it one more time. Nando with the ball, pick and roll to his right hand. When he gets that advantage and gets that step, He's going to use that contact in any way he can, knowing the referee's looking straight at it. He's looking at the ball. He's looking at the defender. And he's going to use that contact to get fouled. And he does it in numerous situations all over the floor. doesn't matter where he's at. He's one of the best at drawing fouls and getting to the free throw line. These next two clips here are basically the same, but I wanted to highlight Nando's really good cutting off the ball, and it's going to be less about his finishing at the rim. So right here, it happens real quick, but he's going to make this face cut from out of the corner and he's going to get fouled. So right here we see Nando in the left corner. And as we progress the play right here, the defender on Nando over there is hugged up to him really close, about arm's length away, and he's below him towards the baseline. Now that might be to prevent a backdoor cut where Nando would cut towards the ball, fake like he's getting the ball, and then go backdoor. Or maybe if a screen is coming, he can lock and trail over the top because Nando's such a good shooter. But either way, Nando takes this advantage that he has with him being a step below and being so close to speed cut and make a face cut. And what I mean by face cut is literally cut right across the face of the defender, giving him no room to be between him and Kosas Lucas, who's making the pass. Nando's going to receive the ball. The lane is wide open, and Nando's going to get fouled and probably is going to get two free throws. So here we go one more time. Great cut out of the corner. And as we roll into the next clip, we're going to see it here again. Paused it right there. If you look at the left corner, 
you're going to see Nando and the defender again in the same situation. The defender's below him, really hugged up, about arm's length away, giving Nando this advantage. And this play might be by design. It happens at every team that Nando plays for. He makes this cut out of the corner. But it's really hard to pick and choose how to guard him. So when you guard him this way, you have to be ready for this cut. He's going to make the same face cut again and get the layup. This is the last clip I have here for Nando. And I had to dig way back in the archives for this one, back to 2013 to find Nando with the San Antonio Spurs. And I actually remember watching this game. That's why I wanted to go and pull this clip. So let's play it right here. You're going to see Nando with the steal. That young bounce right there. So let's watch it one more time. He's going to get the steal. Full head of steam. Good for takeoff. Easy dunk for Nando right there. That's it for the Nando DiColo episode of The Breakdown with AP. Thank you to Nando for being a part of it. I hope he enjoyed that last clip as much as I did. And a lot of great episodes are still on their way, so stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you guys next time.